deal. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is checking out some of the O-Game clones. The first one I'm going to be checking out is called O-Game X. This is 600 times speed, so it could be quite interesting. And this is what it all looks like. The initial thoughts on this game actually look pretty good. It all loads really quickly. You can see here, if I click on something, it loads instantly. The original O game doesn't actually load that fast, unfortunately. Here's the position and the places that have been colonised already. I am Elder Mars in this video. That was the default name that was given to me, basically, so I'm not going to be changing that. This is just to check out the game more than anything. So what I'll do to start with is build up the mines, then I can check out some of the other features, hopefully. So this does look very similar to the original O game. You have your solar power plants, the fusion reactors, then your three mines. I will upgrade a few levels of this just to show you. Solar power plant here, I'm going to need that to start with. I didn't like solar plants though on the original O game, so that may end up being deconstructed. I think you get quite a few fields here. Yes, 10 out of 320 and that's for a home planet. So I will go ahead and upgrade this a bit further until I start getting a decent production. All right, so I've made a start on my resource buildings. You can see here, the metal is going up at a ridiculous speed. Same with crystal and deuterium, and I've only just started on the resource buildings. So that could be interesting later on to see just how fast that goes up. It's already ahead of the production of my main O-game account. So I think what we should do now is go and start building some of the buildings here, robot factory here, and what else can I build to start with? A research lab, that should be very important. I'll put a few levels of that on build. So let's try and get the buildings here a bit more upgraded. So I've only just worked this out, but you can actually stack up the queuing of buildings and I would assume resources as well without needing any sort of officer. You can see here, stacking it all up. So that's something really good about this version of O-Game as well. Not sure how many you can put in the queue. Let's just do a big queue to experiment. So you could do something like this, then just go offline for a few hours and then wait until it's all built itself as long as you have the resources. There we go. That looks like the maximum amount that can be in the queue. So I better wait for all that to finish now. Okay, so I may have overdone that a bit, but I can go over to the research page and start working on my researches. Here we go, we have the usual spy technology, computer technology, energy technology, that's a very important one. At least it was on the original O game. Armor technology, weapons as well, and a bunch of other researches. So let's make a start on these. There's some new ones down the bottom that I don't think were on the original O game. I think most of these are pretty self-explanatory. Just have a look at this one. Increases crystal, increases deuterium. Right, anyway, let's make a start on this. So one thing I have noticed is you can only queue up five researchers rather than the massive long queue I had with the other buildings. Here we go, you can see here, when you've queued up five, you can't put on any more researches. There you go, I'll just wait for a few of those to finish. While I'm doing that, I can go over to the shipyard. I can start building ships. Now, light fighters, same as the original O game, heavy fighters, cruiser, battleship, battle cruiser, planet bomber, destroyer, reaper, galleon. Oh, that's new. Crikey, you need a lot of stuff in order to be able to build those, then Death Stars. Again, that's looking similar. Falcons, wow, they look quite interesting. They look more powerful than Death Stars, actually, than the Avatar. Almost the size of a moon. That may well be the most powerful ship. We do have solar satellites over here as well, so that should help when building up the mines. Crawlers as well. 
they consume 50 energy, light cargoes, heavy cargoes, asteroid miner. Okay, I can't build too much here, but I might as well build a few solar satellites and I guess a few ships just for fun. All right, so while that's doing, I might as well have a look at the defense. Missile launcher, light laser turret, heavy laser turret, ion cannon, gorse cannon, plasma cannon, Dora gun. Okay, that's different. A photon cannon as well. Then an interceptor. Okay. Oh, I see what that does. Right. And then the interplanetary missiles as well. So a few new features, the Dora gun and photon cannon, not in the original O game. Fortress, okay. Wow, you need a lot of stuff in order to be able to build that. Doom Cannon, that sounds quite interesting. I like the name of that. Then Orbital Defense Platform. Then we have the Shield Domes, plus I would assume that's a new type of Shield Dome there. I'm not going to be building any defense as of yet. What I think I'll do is queue up a bunch of stuff then come back to this a bit later on maybe tomorrow then see what I can do from there all right so I've had a really good chance to have a look at this game now you can see my resources are going up at a kind of ridiculous rate 4.8 billion metal 2.1 billion deuterium crystal 4.1 billion this is only after one day of play as well so doesn't take long at all to get up to the ridiculous levels. I can also build other planets as well, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. What I want to do now is have a go at attacking another player. Most of the inactives though, if I probe them, I can't see anything even with 100 probes. For example, let's send 100 probes to Warlock Fury. That's what it's set to currently. You will see I won't be able to see anything, but I will lose the probes as well. There we go. So I can only really probe the lower ranked inactives currently. For example, this one here. It still has an absolute ton of resources on, plus no ships or defences. So that might be a good one to attack. As there's no fleet or defence on this planet, I'm going to go ahead and try attacking. I might as well just launch everything that I have built so far, apart from the probes and colony ships. So that takes 17 minutes, 32 seconds to arrive. So not crazy fast. You don't have to be online every single second. I think that's about six times fleet speed from what I know. So there we go, that's going. The settings are actually shown in the server properties here, you can see the resource production is actually times 1000. I thought it was only 600, but it's a bit faster. Fleet speed is times six. Defense debris is 5%. I don't really like that, if I'm being honest, but that's what the universe is anyway. I want to have a go at building a moon as well. Not really sure. Oh, okay, it only takes resources to form a moon. There's no percentage chance, like on the original O game, you don't have to be attacked. That's quite cool actually. That makes it a lot easier. So I've had a quick look at the features of the moon. This all looks the same as the original O game. The moon base there, robot factory there, nanite factory. I don't think you could build a nanite factory on a moon on the original O game. We have the shipyard as well, phalanx sensor and of course the jump gate which is probably the most important part in my opinion so that's what a moon looks like anyway we have the jump gate tab here as well i'm not going to build up the moon there's quite a lot of other stuff that i want to look at here so i'll go ahead and do that so let's go back onto the planet onto the shipyard here this is what i currently have as the ships available i'm building heavy cargoes as that's what I will need for farming inactives. I did build a little bit of defense, but I'm not going to bother too much with this. I think you can build multiple shield domes. I just want to try this. 
Let's see what happens. Yes, you can. So that's different from the original O game. I think there's a cap on each shield though. 6,492, 650 and 66. Right, what I want to do as well while I'm here is try and get another planet. What I think I'll do is just get the planets that are in the same system that I am. Doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. So let's go ahead and get the other three. I think I have a maximum of five planets. Planets will go up very quickly. This will get quite difficult and time consuming. So that's one of the things to bear in mind about this game. Because of how fast it is, you're going to be spending a lot of time playing. It's all nice and fast though, as I mentioned near the start. All very smooth as well. Tons of new features that were not in the original O game. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm having quite a bit of fun, but I probably won't play it that much. Anyway, let's go over to the officers page. When you purchase an officer, it looks like it gives a permanent boost. So let's go ahead and try this. I have no idea if that will wear off or not. It looks like it's permanent, as I mentioned. So I will probably try and get all of these. That's looking like an especially useful one. Increases maximum planets that can be colonized. Energy production there. Construction speed. Research speed. Production speed of ships. Storage capacity there. Weapons, armor and shields, 5%. Speed of fleets. Then fleet slots plus one. Defense and shields. There we go, that's quite interesting. Then over to the academy. There's a lot of other stuff here as well. So I can upgrade all of this. This kind of looks like a skill tree for the miner. So I can upgrade like so. I have a lot of available points. I'll go ahead and do some of this quickly. All right, well that looks like the maximum cap. There's a 5% resource extraction there. 2% energy production. More to do with the shields. This is to do with defense, then research speed, construction speed, storage. Minus one crawler energy consumption. Defense recovery, plunder protection, and maximum planets again. So I really like the idea of this actually. It would be cool if the original O game had some sort of skill tree for your class. Then there's other ones for the other classes as well, so to speak. Right, so onto the merchant. A few new features here that were not in the original O game. Planet relocation is here. 60,000 dark matter, just go back, scrap merchant as well, 50% starting, that's pretty good, resource trader, that's pretty self-explanatory, auctioneer, let's have a look at some of the bids on the auction, oh my goodness, yeah there's some pretty big bids there, but most of the bids are quite small, so that's quite interesting. I'm not going to play around with that, I don't think. Import, export. Might as well go ahead and purchase the box. I'm not really sure what that does, actually. Then the premium here. Bunch of other stuff. Oh, okay, so you can increase everything by percentages, by the looks of it, for a certain amount of dark matter. That's quite interesting. That could really quickly boost up your account. What did I have in this container though? Let's have a look. Right. Oh, one of those, a Detroit bronze, okay. And I think that's about all of the features. So that's what O Game X looks like. So is this better than the original O Game? Well, to me it feels like it's taken all the original O Game features and tried to improve on them. So in that respect, it probably is, but then again, it is ridiculously fast. So 
you're going to be spending a lot of time playing if you do go ahead and play this. I like it a lot though, it's a very good alternative to O game, plus you get free dark matter just for staying online, which is always a massive benefit. It's far more free to play friendly than the original O game is, but as you've probably seen, there's less players overall. I've included a link to the game in the description if you do want to check this out for yourselves. I'd recommend giving it a go, even if you don't play it competitively, just to check out all the features like I have done. So I'm going to end the video at this point. I hope you found that interesting. I think I have seen pretty much all of the features here. This is what my minds look like at the end of this video and my research is here are developing quite well but I just need to wait for them all to finish then the productions here are starting to look quite ridiculous and once I have more planets that will go up quite a lot more it's going to take a bit of work to build up all the new planets especially how quickly you can get astrophysics done so if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. I've included a proper O-Game video on the screen. I've also put this video in my O-Game playlist. You can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.